hell. This thing is on. Good? We're live. Hey everybody, look. It's National um, Plant of Flower Day. And uh, that's not a flower. It's the best I could do. How you doing? We're getting ready to do an all new Carolina Reaper show. I'm excited. If you're in Birmingham, Alabama, I'm coming to see you. St. Patrick's Day's around the corner. We got a great episode. Isaiah is here. Marcus Stamos is here. It's gonna be fan freaking tastic I'm happy that you've decided to join me. Hit the share button if you got time. Now's a good time because the show's not officially started. It's about to in three, two, one. All right. Almost live from Hickory. It's Tuesday night, March the 12th, and you're about to watch an all new Carolina Reaper show. Have you heard of Factor Meals? Oh my gosh. They're delicious, ready to eat meals, and they make eating better every day easy. All right, whatever tomorrow takes you, wherever it takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals right to your door. Head over to factormeals.com slash reap50 and then use promo code reap50 to get 50% off. Yeah, that's code reap50 at factormeals.com slash reap50 to get 50% off. All righty, we got a great show. I think we should get it started. What do you say, boys? Let's bring it up. The Alan Jackson, please. Thank you, thank you. What up, peeps? Welcome to Carolina Reaper. What is that? Well, it's like a PM magazine from the Carolinas that is addicted to the cracked corn. And today's episode is an Oscar-worthy, award-winning presidential TikTok at a Goodwill, okay? Did you watch the State of the Union address? Hmm? Did you watch the Oscars? Let me know what you, let me, let me know what you think of them in the comment section, all right? Uh, Cause I'll be down there talking to you. Also, we got more idiotic TikToks to walk, watch, and my pal Mark Hunt is over here. So we're gonna play Goodwill Hunting as we unbox gifts we got each other at a Goodwill. But first, you should know this: I'm live right now. I'm live in the comment section. I'm down there. So as you're watching me and you're down here talking to me, you're talking to me in the future, or is it in the present? It's the whole space-time continuum stuff. Either way, I'm down there. Leave me a comment, okay? I want to be interactive with you. Answer me this. Did you watch the Oscars? Let me know what you think down here. Let me ask these guys over here. We got uh, young Hayseed Gen Z Isaiah, and next to him, uh, Marcus Stamos. How you doing, boys? Hey. Great. Now, I think I know the answer to this, but I feel like I'm compelled to ask. Did you watch the Oscars? No. No, sir. <laughs> I didn't either. I watched Naked and Afraid. Okay. I watched Love vs. Stalker Killer. That's good. Yeah. I do. I do. Uh, I enjoyed that. I, I haven't well. finished it yet, but I'm liking it so far. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, um, that's what people are talking about. I didn't watch it either. Uh, I watched the highlights as a comedian and, and an actor. I feel like it's my duty to kind of check in with these things. I know you at home, a lot of you watching this, you don't care about it either. That's fine. We're not going to dwell on it too much. A couple things I want to point out. Um, oh, let's go to the Alan Jackson, big film guy back here, has a film festival called the Foot Candle Film Festival right here in Hickory. Uh, did you watch the Oscars? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, good. Um, can we make sure that speaker's on, Isaiah? I don't know if it's turned up. Hit me again there, uh, Alan. Did, I, I think you said you did watch them. I, I did watch it. Okay. Are you, are you able to hear Just me crank now? that okay. up for me. Um, Yes, and let's talk about Jimmy Kimmel's monologue. What'd sure. you think? Um, it was okay. I mean, yeah. it was not as good as, as he's been in the past. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, but it was, I mean, it was okay. It was fine. I think it was, I, I, I agree. I, I give him a one out of 10. I give him like a 5.8. Oh, see, I was going to go 4.95. <laughs> so we're very, very different. Very there. close. I mean, yeah. honestly, though, you, I could have said eight. You could have, I mean, no, it was what okay. a range. Yeah. Um, a couple of things that didn't land for me, and maybe you can explain it to me. There was a joke he made about uh, Madam Webb, like something didn't go as well, and he referenced Madam Webb. I'm not sure what that meant. Yeah, so Madam Webb was a movie that um, bombed pretty bad. Oh. It's kind of become a little bit of a joke, a meme, Got it. about supposedly how bad the movie is. So that was that was his crack on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's getting some heat from some people, and what they're bringing up is Robert Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a comment he made to Robert Downey Jr. about, like, you know, this is a high point for you. He goes, well, not the highest. And he's making, like, a drug reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He made several drug jokes, yeah. At, at his expense. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. has been 20 years since he's been sober. Right. So people are <laughs> saying, like, okay, we got to get over that. That's been, there's other things to talk about. And then he made a joke about, is that an acceptance speech in your pocket, or do you have a rectangular penis? <laughs> yeah. Which yeah, didn't go was, over well. That was weird. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. a weird one. Yeah, it didn't work too well. So. And then another one that I did like, where uh, he said Robert De Niro and Jodie Foster <laughs> both won or, or, or nominated for Oscars 20 years ago? Yeah, for uh, Taxi Driver. For yeah. Taxi Driver. Mm-hmm. And now they're both nominated again 20 years later. The only difference is... No, he said, back then she was too young to be his girlfriend. Now she's too old to be his girlfriend. <laughs> right. So that she was 20 years too young yeah. last time. Now she's like 20 years too old. Right. So, yeah. That's yeah. actually pretty funny. That, that was a good joke. Good. Yeah. And then they panned over to Jodie Foster. And she went, yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> she was uh, laughing, but uh, De Niro, I can't tell if he was digging the joke or... Dude. If it was just being himself, he just kind of sat there staring. So Yeah, he's yeah. pretty stone-faced these yeah. days. Yeah. Come election time, he gets a little serious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still making babies, though, right? Oh, I think he is. Yeah, I think he's got a fairly new baby. So, yeah, we uh, talked about that one. He time. and uh, Al Pacino both, I think, have uh, <laughs> young babies right now. So, just I'm picturing both of them. Uh, having orgasms at the same time. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? And I honestly of, had not tried to. And and I see, bad, so. I see a big uh, uh, puff of baby powder coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have that orgasm. <laughs> so what was this other joke? I didn't understand. There was a dog in the crowd, and he, yeah. he referenced Tim Allen and a messy or a messy joke. Yeah. So there's a uh, one of the movies that that was nominated is a movie called Anatomy of the Fall. Didn't and it had a, a, the dog that a, that dog was actually in that film. He oh. actually has a pretty big role to play in that film. Okay, so that was that was the that was the joke. And apparently, the dog licked up some puke or something. Yeah, like the dog actually had to act sick in one scene, which was oh. kind of crazy. Like get sick and everything. Okay. Uh, oh wow! They so, probably yeah. got the dog sick. Yeah, so the dog the dog's a pretty good actor. I mean <laughs> I mean he probably wasn't acting. So they probably just pumped his stuff. Right. I, I I don't know exactly what all they did, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was the dog they popped up a couple times in the show. I was so. trying to figure out if he was dissing Tim Allen or if he was just basically making a a joke about the dog being messy. I think it's just a dog joke. Yeah, okay. I think just everybody was gonna know who that dog was that was there in the crowd, so um he went on to make a couple of, there was two jokes that got moans because they were puns. And I can't believe Jimmy Kimmel, you know, this guy's had his own Tonight Show or whatever for years. He's doing monologues every night. No one likes puns, really. I don't mind a pun, but I'm surprised he even attempted to do a pun because most people don't like them. Yeah. And he, do you know what they were? He did a Killian Murphy pun. I, I don't remember what they were. He said, so. uh, you know, Killian Murphy's the actor who won Best Actor for Oppenheimer, right? Correct. An Irish dude. Yeah. So he spells Killian, his first name is Killian, with a C, I believe. Mm-hmm. And so, so he was saying, like, when he's doing dramatic films, oh, right. he calls himself Killian Murphy. But when he's doing comedy, he calls himself Cillian, like he's yeah. being silly. Yeah. And that the whole crowd went, oh. <laughs> And then he did it again with, um, apparently there were two foreign guys named Yorgos. Oh, right. That yeah. were up for something. Yeah. 
And he goes, I don't know which one is going to win. Your ghost is as good as mine. Yeah. <laughs> and that also got a, uh. uh this might be his last year. Honestly. Yeah, that got <laughs> a, uh, that got a. I think puns. I think puns are underrated. I think they can be a good chuckle. I, I think they can be too. I think they can. Be. As long as you're not trying to take a like a real joke. Like if you go along with the fact that it was like not good. Yeah. It, you can get away with <laughs> yeah. it. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think it's okay to tell something and just kind of crack on yourself for even yeah. saying it. You know, so right. that's fun. Uh, another thing that happened at the Oscars. Uh, two more things. We'll get out of this Oscar talk. Um, maybe three. John Cena. Came out on the stage, butt naked, but he had something in front of his junk. And I didn't really, uh, like I said, I didn't watch the Oscars. I watched the monologue because I feel like that's my duty as a comedian. But uh, what was this joke here about uh, the Alan Jackson? That John, why was John Cena naked? Oh, I, I remember now. It was something about uh, costume design or something. Right. Yeah. That was okay. the bit. That was it. So he's making a joke that John Cena was going to uh, uh, present the award for best costume design, and he came out without a costume. So that was the joke there. But I couldn't help but be a little bit insulted that here I am getting shadow banned on Facebook for basically doing the same thing that John Cena is doing on national television. It's true. And actually... Um... I think I think John Cena is revealing even a little bit more than you did. I think and, so. Uh, he's getting broadcast to you know millions of people with no no banning. Right. Um, I so think Facebook, he got shafted on this man. Are you going to throw the Oscars and ABC and John Cena and Jimmy Kimmel into the shadow ban jail? Huh? If not, you're being uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Racist. Uh, yeah. You're being uh, <laughs> hypocritical. Hypocritical. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I knew I'd get there. <laughs> All right. Uh, another thing that happened, I thought this was interesting. Everybody knows that Jimmy Kimmel hates Trump. Do we all know this? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And uh, so it was a live show. So Trump was at home watching the Oscars live and, and writing tweets or truth socials about his performance. And so Jimmy Kimmel, because it's live, came out. I said, okay, well, I know this Oscars is not about me. It's about you guys, but something happened I'm very, very proud of. And, uh, well, uh, I got a review. And he just starts reading the review. And it was Trump saying, like, this is the worst. <laughs> can, Jimmy Kim can Jimmy Kimmel get any worse? I mean, he just basically dogged Jimmy Kimmel. And then Jimmy Kimmel dogged him back. So I thought that was interesting, you know, th those two going at it. Uh, Alan, were you happy with the winners of everything? Um, I mean, yeah, for the most part, I thought yeah. it was okay. I mean, Oppenheimer pretty much won all the big awards, which it's all right. I mean, yeah. I thought that was fine. Um, uh, best picture, Oppenheimer. Uh, American Fiction, didn't see that one. What's that about? That is about, actually, it, it's a good movie. I think you'd like it. It's a, it's a guy who's a writer, uh, he's an African-American writer, but yet he uh, oh. isn't very successful, so he kind of, Puts on a fake person, uh, personality yeah. as a writer to try to sell some books, and it, it's 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 pretty good. It's a good movie. It, it's not a comedy though. Um, it, I mean, it's, it's definitely got some comedy in it. Okay, it's comedy drama. Okay, you know, uh, well, I'll check that out. I know you're talking about now. The actor that's in that is also in um, oh, sh Westworld. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, Jeffrey Wright. I love that guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a good actor. Yep. Anatomy of the Fall. Didn't see that one. Did you ever see that one, Mark? <laughs> What's that one about? Oh, that's the dog that looks up the puke? Yeah, so it's a uh, kind of a murder mystery okay. courtroom drama movie. Is it in English? No. Well, half of it is. Okay. It's in English and French. And Where was Dune at, dude? Was Dune so in I saw, I've okay. seen Oppenheimer, so I agree with that one. I'm going to read you all the nominees, and you okay. tell me which ones you've seen. Dune's not on the list. <clears throat> Next year, maybe. I do like Dune. It just came out. Dune 2 came out. Um, American Fiction, Anatomy of the Fall, Barbie. Did you see Barbie? Nope, these guys didn't see Barbie. I watched half of it at the beach, and then I got sleepy. So right, I that's it. why I didn't watch all of it, any of it. Um, and then The Holdovers, I, I didn't see that one. Don't, don't, no. Oh, wait, that's, that's with um, the, the guy who uh, screams a lot. <laughs> Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Is that good? Uh, so I've seen that one five times. Oh, you love it? 
Um, I do like it. Yeah, okay, I think good. it's really good. It's I like good Paul movie. Giamatti. Yeah, yeah. No, it's great. All right. Now, it's that good. one I'm going to watch then. Yeah. I was just waiting to hear what other people think. Five times. Five if, times. If I haven't seen it five times, I can, five, I can no, see I didn't it. I can say watch I've it watched more. it all five times because I he does wanted a, to. Right? He does I, have a different taste in movie stuff. Oh, wait a minute. So. You didn't want to five no, times? I did most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, it is really good. It was one of my favorite movies last year. Oh, great. Yeah. Killers of the Flower Moon. You saw that one? I didn't saw you? that one. That was actually really good. Yeah, I yeah. like that. One. I'm surprised that girl win? did not win Best Actress. Yeah, that movie won nothing. Wow! Oh, it won nothing. Nothing. Oh, How does that happen? Oh, no, that's racist. Yes, yeah, an Indian. It's girl, racist because right? it's a, it's about she, Native Americans, and she was really and she was there, and everyone said she was definitely going to win, and she did not win. Yeah, Emma Emma Stone won. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so the maestro. Sleep. Do you see the maestro, Bradley she, Cooper? She didn't sleep with enough people. Who? <laughs> the maestro, with Bradley Cooper. I did not. Did you see that, Isaiah? No. Nope. I did. We see are it. of no use here today. That's okay. <laughs> I saw it. It's did okay. the Iron Claw win anything? Because that's the only one I went to the movies to see. The Iron Claw. Let's talk about the Iron Claw. Either. It wasn't nominated. It did, I did see that movie. It started off. It's very sad. Oh, yeah. I didn't know all of that crap that happened to that family. And there was another brother named Chris that it just left out of the movie. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What did he do? He, uh, did he killed kill himself. himself like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he killed died. Him. Did like he really? Everybody. Like all the rest he, of them. Legit, he died like all the well, rest of them. Well, why did they throw that in there? That would have been one more suicide they could have added to their mix. And, and um, Kevin, the one that Zach Efron played, is the one who found them. And he found him like right after he did it because he felt like the. Hole and that wasn't in the, the back one that killed head. himself in the movie. I mean, huh. there's the in the movie Iron Claw, right? right? Mm -hmm. One brother uh, die commit suicide, right? Yeah, that was Carrie. No, two of them commit suicide. And then, oh yeah, Mike he committed suicide. And then too. the other one died of a weird intestinal thing. But they because he's doing steroids or so, something. It didn't mention this in the movie, but they think there might have been drugs involved. Right, and that's another, what I was thinking. another uh, wrestler flushed the pills or whatever. They alluded to like maybe steroid right. use or something. But you're telling me there's a there's a fourth brother that killed himself. Yep. Holy crap. Um, so I did see the Maestro. I thought it was okay. I love Bradley Cooper. I just I don't know. It was something about the subject matter. I wasn't. I wasn't was it 100% into, but I, I was, um, I, uh, I liked the performances. I, I, I could appreciate good acting and that was good acting. Past Lives, don't know about it. Haven't seen it. Alan? Uh, yeah, we saw it. Good? Uh, yeah, I think it's really good. Is it in English? Uh, half of it. Damn it. <laughs> I don't like reading movies. I know, I know. Yeah. I'm not really advocating a yeah. couple some movies to you because I know that. Uh, I, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, poor things I did watch after you told me to watch it because Emma Stone is naked a bunch in this movie. Wait, what's the name of this movie? Poor things. <laughs> poor things. All right. The, and the only reason I'm going to recommend it to you is because she's naked a lot. Uh, cinema, cinema photography. <laughs> cinema. Cinnamon I can't say that word. Photographer. Cine, cinema photography. Cine, 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 anyway, it looked cool. The movie looked cool. The colors, the way it was shot. I didn't like the music in it. I didn't like the score of this movie. It was weird. I didn't like it. Some of the dialogue I didn't like. The story I liked, interesting. Here, here's what happens, right? I'm not going to spoil it, but this is what happens in poor things. Emma Stone is a, a, a lady who is pregnant, and she commits suicide. And then this Frankenstein-like doctor, played by Willem Dafoe, drags her body out of the river and saves the baby, takes the baby's brain and puts it in Emma Stone's brain because she was brain dead. Like when she tried to kill herself, she hurt her brain, but the baby's brain was fine. So put the baby's brain in her brain. So now she wakes up and she's like a child because she has a baby's brain. So it's almost like she is her granddaughter does that make any sense it's got a frankenstein feel to it so that alone just that concept is pretty interesting but <laughs> she she goes on to be a prostitute because uh, she gets infatuated with sex and making money but uh 
It was weird. Alan, you got to... Can you agree with me that it was a weird film? It was definitely a weird movie. I I liked it a lot, but it was definitely weird. Yeah. Jody liked it too, and I just could not get past some of the dialogue and then some of the uh, the music was weird. I didn't like music. I mean, they had the best line of dialogue from any movie I saw last year. <laughs> what? Bye bye. No, the, uh, the excuse me, I have to go punch that baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's good. That was good. Yeah. That's good. What about The Zone of Interest? I didn't see that one. Uh, yeah, you don't need to see that one. All right. What's it about? Uh, it's about a, f- a family of German Nazi soldiers who live next door to a concentration camp. Well, I feel like I've seen this one many times. Well, it's like their family lives next door to the Auschwitz. And, uh... So it's a comedy. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> okay. It's great. Yeah. All right. A laugh a minute. Yeah. No, it's a pretty, it's a rough film. Yeah. yeah it's so tough you, watch. Mark, do you like Emma Stone, this, this actress right here? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> What's she in? She's in some other things, I guess. Yeah, she's in some other things. She's naked a lot. That's all I'm saying. It, you might want to see it for that. Nah, I'd say I would, I bet. Yeah. Do you like naked girls? Does a bear poop in the woods? Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> what about, all right, let's move on. Okay, that was riveting. State of the Union Address. It happened. Did you guys watch that? No. I said, what, did you just watch wrestling and that's it? I, I watched uh, Finished Yellow Jackets. Oh. And then what else did I start watching? All right, that's fine. Put a pin in that. <laughs> no, I, I, I just couldn't watch it. I couldn't bring myself to watch it. It's, it was, I'd like to, but I couldn't. I feel like as a, uh, as a good citizen of our country, no matter who the president is, mm-hmm. whether I like him or don't, I feel like I have to watch it. Yeah. So it's, to me, it's a, a, like a duty. And I don't, I, it was tough watching it because I don't know what he said for half of it. <laughs> he would start to stand and go, and, and another thing. He goes, stop, 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 so, yeah, he got, uh, he got heckled once or twice. He was hopped up on uh, speed balls, a yellow <laughs> yeah. jacket, 357, so, 420s. Yeah. They were saying, like, oh, he killed. I'm like, I don't know. Who, who did better? Who did worse? Jimmy Kimmel hosting the Oscars or Biden at the State of the Union Jimmy address? Kimmel done better. Did better. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We'll leave it at that. All right, let's watch some... Uh, Idiotic TikToks. Yeah, this is fun. Let's get let's get into Isaiah's brain. Let's get to let's dumb it down a little bit. Something that you could enjoy, Isaiah. <laughs> Just random <laughs> random people falling yeah. down always makes me laugh. Uh, Mark, I think you sent me these this time. Yeah. Let's just watch them. Here we go. Idiotic TikToks. Whatever you got pulled up. I'm calling the sheriff's department. I just got assaulted by this old fuck. Got a guy on the scooter. Oh. <laughs> well. So what's going on here? You think this old guy is complaining about these guys working? Yep. Yeah, they're uh, they're not following <laughs> they're not following the rules that he has set forward. I like see a lot of HOA this. HOA rules or something. I'm calling the sheriff's department. Have you noticed a lot of these videos where it's an old person screaming? Or yelling <laughs> at a at a younger person who is actually just doing their job, yeah. Like for the government, or they're doing a road, or they're doing construction, and some old guy comes out and yells at them. Yeah, that's, like, that's why would you that. do that? That guy's not in charge. He's just taking orders too, right? Well, they probably stepped in his yard, right? Or you know, put Taking a, him put out there a, and getting hail. They drove in his yard or got his yard wet or. Something. I wonder how long that guy laid there like that. Did they I go don't over think and the help guy, him? I doubt it. I know he, he laughed at him. He probably sat there and yelled some more. Get hey, over hey, here! Help me out! Yeah. Let's, what's the next one? We'll just go through these. It's good times. Oh, yeah. Now, this one I've seen. You sent this one to me, Mark, but I have seen it. This yeah, one requires a volume. We really need to hear yeah. it. Check this out. Oh, it! Are you all right? Get the dog, get the dog, get the dog, get the dog. I know what's going on here. Is he being sarcastic? Yeah, because she said, get the dog. Oh, the dog I'm was trying to run out of the house. Upstairs, Debbie, and just be in private, okay? <laughs> Dude. Damn it! Are you all right? Get the dog. 
Get the knob. Get the job. Get the job. Hurry up. Get the job. Oh, yeah. Right. He's mocking her. Right. Dad. He's blaming her for yeah. the fall. Yeah. Yeah. If it's you wouldn't, fault. if you wouldn't have been nagging me about get the dog, this is what happened. Upstairs, Debbie. I'm but just like going to go be by myself. But I like okay. how, how he ended it. Yeah. He went to be by. So when he come back downstairs, he was fine. <laughs> 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 yeah. Now she shouldn't have done that. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Get the dog. She should. <laughs> That's good <laughs> stuff. All right. What's another one? Get the dog. I guess, uh, did he ever get the dog? I don't know. Nah, she did. Oh, here we go. This one's good. Here comes the dog. We got a dog or a cat. Two cats, cat. I think. Oh, lamb. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? I don't know. Did she use the Lord's name? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> she GD'd it. One cat, two cat. Oh, what happened? Do you think she stepped on a cat toy? You know, or just uh, not looking where she's going? That's a hard fall there, man. I, I hope, this is why I will not use the Lord's name in vain. I can't either. Is that I hope I'll never make this kind of fall. I'm afraid steps. that'll happen to That's me if I, use that, if I use that <laughs> word. Right. All right, what's the next one, the Alan Jackson? Let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah. This one hurt when I watched it. Yeah. You sent this to me. There's nothing funny about this. This just straight up hurt. <laughs> He's still laying there. It'll rewind itself, I guess, in here in a minute. He lays there a while, though. Yeah. This is uh, after the fall. <laughs> I don't trust these kinds of ladders. It's just, they, don't, they don't even look like a ladder. Well, it's the kind that you can adjust. It does like, yeah. it folds and does different things. It'll do all kinds of things. Yeah, here, here we, we go. go. He's trying to fix it. He's right trying to here. do something to it. And then it fell on him. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's a, get the dog. <laughs> get the dog. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he, he was messing with the ladder and he shouldn't be. He, 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 he's in pain. Yeah, well, he's yeah. gonna lay there. He could have died. Yeah. A he lot of accidents happen uh, on ladders. Where's his nagging ass wife at? Right. Are you all right? Yeah, why didn't she get do? the dog? Yeah. Uh, all right, Alan, let's uh, let's check out the next one. Oh, okay, so Mark sent me this. I think this is hilarious. I love this girl's voice. I'm thinking maybe we reach out to her, see if she wants to come on the show, make mm -hmm. some phone calls on our behalf. That would be fun. I hope so. You know, we, we tell her to call Sebastian or something. Oh, Sue. Yep. Yeah. So this, I don't know, she's probably, how old do you think she is in real life? She's probably younger than you think i think she's mid-20s mid 30s, 30s? young 30s yeah and uh she's acting like an old lady but listen to her voice rules yes indeed did you catch that episode of andy griffith that was on just a minute ago no i didn't i ain't never seen this one but andy he farted in front of his wife and she was mad at him but they mended their argument and i just thought it was a good sentiment <laughs> well i guess so <laughs> i i laughed my ass off though then it was funny, but it, it had a good message. You know, nobody wants to work on their marriage nowadays. Everybody just gives up. Well, hey, uh, marriage is sacred. Yeah, yeah. Are you married? <laughs> no, not right now. I'm not. I'm divorced. Well, are you looking? <laughs> no. No, I'm retired. Well, you can be retired and married. <laughs> retired? Yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I can cook. Is that right? Yes. Can I ask you a serious question? I, I guess you could. Have you ever had crabs? <laughs> I don't think so, man. I don't think so. It's extremely itchy. I would say so. <laughs> got them from who? I got them from, no, I don't know who they came from. I was just sitting on the pew at church, and I decided not to wear any skivvies that day. <laughs> they climbed up in my bush. That's kind of a strange... <laughs> It is strange. I don't know. Well, ma'am, I'm going to get up. All right, so that's good. Her name is Sue Gray, and uh, I think her character's name is Sue. No, her name is Sarah Gray, but her character's name is Sue Dillon. Yeah. And uh, we should we should reach out to her. It's pretty funny. Happy uh, Women's History Month, everybody.
Very funny. That's one of the best prank callers I've seen in a minute. You well, know, that you get voice. some come through, but that voice, man. Like, I've heard people that sound like that. Yeah. That's a, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of menthol cigarettes. It's Virginia Slims. <laughs> that's Virginia Slims, exactly that's right. that's is what, what she, that is. That's what she the, claims. The 150 shoulder burner kind. Yes. All right. Let's move on. Uh, congratulations to the Allen Jackson, uh, his alma mater. Uh, Carolina beat Duke. And this is, uh, some, some say, the biggest rivalry in sports, period. I say definitely basketball it is. Some people say period. And uh, they always uh, go at it. Now, uh, a previous episode we talked about, um, what's the player from Duke that got trampled on by? The uh, Phil Cal- Phil Phil Kyle, Kowski. Yeah. Filipowski. Uh, Phil Kowski. Phil yeah. Phil Kowski. Filipowski. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we were saying, oh, I, I, I was saying, I think that he kind of pushed and tripped some of these fans. Yep. And, and rightly so, I was on his side in that scenario. But some people are like, no, I think that was just his reaction. I think that was just a, sort of a, just a self-defense reaction that anyone would do. And I was thinking, no, there's more to this dude. He's got Duke blood in him. Yep. You know what I mean by that? I do. That's, uh, Shady characters always yep. tripping people. Want attention. Well, it's just yep. trip. I think uh, this proves my point right here during the Carolina Duke basketball <clears throat> game. Blatantly, <laughs> bam, that's a foot sweep. Watch him get up. The are on oh, oh. And then he, he pretends to get hurt. Yeah. Oh, he hit my leg when it was in the air. Get the court storms canceled. And now we have this bullshit. There you go. See, now, Alan, what are your thoughts on that? That's just... Oh, I, 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 I express my thoughts pretty loudly and vocally during the game itself, but um, I've com- regained my composure a little bit since then, and I can say that, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, the guy definitely tripped him. There's no doubt. Who's the other Duke player that tripped the guy with his butt? That was uh, Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Yeah. This is a Duke thing, apparently. It is, it's, and they're not the only two. I mean, there's been some others on flowers. their team that have done that. I mean, if you go back to uh, – did Christian Leitner ever do any shit? Yes. I don't know if he tripped somebody. He's the one that stomped on somebody's chest when they were yeah. down the ground. It was a, so, yeah. uh, I think, University of Kentucky player. Okay. Yeah. Just stomped on his yeah. chest. So, uh, congrats to Carolina. Thank uh, you. I'm uh, not I'll sure. be, I I'm do not, you know, ever since uh, Krzyzewski left, I don't hate Duke as much as I used to. Mm-hmm. But little uh, jerks like this guy. <laughs> well, they're, they're, keep, they're keeping the love alive. Yeah, they're, they're keeping <laughs> the hate yeah, alive. The hate alive. Yeah. Um, Shushevsky was there with his wife. Yes, he was. But yeah. she looks just like him, right? Yeah. That's what you said. We were watching. Mark and I watched a game at a friend's house. Keith, shout out Keith, who's got two gigantic dogs. I got sexually assaulted by a gigantic dog. Labradoodle. Yeah. Yeah. And I got assaulted by a golden doodle. Yeah. So. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, but um, one of you made the comment like, oh, wow, look, there's Shashevsky and his twin. Yeah. Like, they look exactly the same, him and his wife. They do. It's pretty funny. Uh, all right, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, everybody. What is going on in Hickory for St. <clears throat> Patrick's Day? I'm going to finally be in Hickory during St. Patrick's. Is there some kind of thing that we do? Are we turn in Lake Hickory green? Do we not do <laughs> anything? Do we have a parade? I mean, we have an Oktoberfest. We got nothing for the Irish here in Hickory. Not a whole lot going on. The, I think the, the barley the, market's the, doing something. The late green would be fun. You did say earlier something was going on at the Playhouse. Yeah, I googled. Yeah. Hickory St. Patrick's Day events. First thing that popped up and was barley market. Second thing, the dollhouse. <laughs> yeah, dollhouse. Strip joint. Strip yeah. house. And then some other. I know I where I'm Holly going Dance for St. Patrick's Day. Boys. Get you all it. <laughs> Um, so what, uh, what do you know about St. Patrick's Day, Marcus? How do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? I just know you're supposed to wear green for some reason. Yeah. That's about all I know. Yeah. And then, I think it's the day, uh, I, and I'm not sure. I want to say, don't tell me, let me guess. I want to say that it's uh, when the patron, St. Patrick, uh, chased all the snakes out of Ireland with his flute. How close am I? It is about St. Patrick. Snakes? There's no snakes involved. That's a different story, then. 
Uh, St. Patrick was born in the late 4th century, and he was kidnapped at age 16 and uh, was taken to Ireland as a slave. Okay. And then years later, in (laughs) the 1700s, when the Irish immigrated to America, we wanted to celebrate all things Irish. Mm -hmm. And then I think in 1737... Boston decided to have their first St. Patrick's Day parade. But so we're just celebrating that some kid got kidnapped at sixteen and lived. Well, it, there's got to be more to that just... story. I'm not Irish. People think right. I'm Irish. And by the way, when I, you know during St. Patrick's Day, if I'm out at a bar somewhere, I always pretend to be Irish. So because I look like a you've got a good accent. Yeah. Got well, I got the red beard and I look. Yeah. I'm a ginger. I look yeah. Irish. You know. You look like a Notre Dame guy to me. I do. Like I just walk around like this. Yeah. With the fine Put them up. Yeah. Put them up. Um, I feel like there's more to that story. Coble, what is the real St. Patrick's? I, I feel like you know these things. He's, yeah, he's young. He's smart. He went to college. No, you're not into it? No. I don't care enough to know. So yeah. the snakes out of Ireland is just a myth. That's a whole other story? Well, it... Does it have to do with St. Patrick, though? Yeah, it does, okay. but it's a myth. Like, it never gotcha. happened. All right. I guess he was so famous that they just made that story up <laughs> about him. <laughs> I want to do a segment with you. Called History Lessons by Isaiah. Yeah, let him tell you. Where you yeah. like, you basically get the cliff notes of some historical event, and you just come back and give us a full report, and then we animate it. That would be great. Like like uh, drunk history. Yeah, that would. But be But it's cool. like yeah. redneck Isaiah. history. Yeah, you're his Gen Z. Hey, see Gen Z history. Uh huh. That rolls off mm. the tongue. I like um, it. All righty. So let's read some comments. From last week, uh, last week I asked everybody, Marcus, I'll ask you now, did you vote? I did not. No. Gotcha. I will vote, but I, that's the primary, right? Yeah, primaries. Yeah. I'm going I'm to yeah, vote in the real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of how I felt, but then I'm like, well, let me go check it out, because I wasn't sure where I'm supposed to vote, because I got a new house. I was pretty sure. Yeah, you got to get that figured out. And you, yeah, you're also, I did. That's why I went and voted, because I, I got a, I got word the other day that uh, Rudy, or, or not Rudy, but our mayor, Hank Guess, Hank Guess, is under the impression that you are running for mayor. I meant to tell you this. Who he told is, you that? I can't tell you who told me that. Why? But he told somebody that you were running. Whoa, there's something that you have and you won't tell me? I just now thought of it. No, True no. Story. You just said, I can't tell you that. I will tell you later. Oh, I see. You can't tell me now. Right. Gotcha. But yeah, yeah. He, he's under pressure that you're running. So should you run? Or should when, we? When is it? Uh, shit, I don't know. It's Alan, when's the next election? I think it's, uh, we're, we're thinking it's two more years. Two more years. Yeah. Yeah, so it'd be, uh, it'll be 25 or 26. So you got some thinking to do. I, I got two years to yeah, think about. November 2026. I, here's my gut feeling on that right now. You know, the whole thing started as a goof. And then I started thinking, well, how hard could it be? Nine. And then I, and then I went back to the goof again. I'm very wishy-washy on this. I think what I want to do, because I don't dislike Hank Guest. He's always been nice to He's me. He's a great mayor. He's played along. He's he gets into mayor. it. He loves it. So what I might do is go, Hank, you're a good mayor. I promise you I won't run. You just got to name a street after me. You know, name a building after me. Yeah. <laughs> Or I might run. Or run, yeah, make him name the downtown after you. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to tell him I don't want to be mayor until you're done being mayor. That'll so, be never. He, he's never he'll die at some point. He mm. loves being He'll probably mayor. outlive me. He's an athletic dude. He rides bikes all the time. He, he, he really enjoys being mayor, so he probably will never give it up. All right, I'll give him another... I'll give him one more term. I'll give him two years at least. All right. Let's read comments from last week. Uh, I said, did you vote? Diana Dollar, she says, well, I missed your live, but I'm a watch now and still comment. I voted. Okay. Thank you, Diana Dollar. Bob Haynes, he said, my favorite wo- woman in history, Boudica, a warrior queen of the Celts who Celts. stood against the Romans. I wonder if I pronounced that name correctly. Is it Celts or Celts? Celts? Celts. Celtics. Right? Well, let's go to Alan. Alan, uh, how do you pronounce the... Is it Celts or Celts? Um, is anybody back here now? Celts. Oh. I, I, I'm, we're, well, we're split, I've heard people say... We are split right back here. Uh, Koble said one <laughs> answer. Moose said the other. It's Celtic, but Celtic. Celtic, I've heard. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, somebody said Celts. Somebody said I've also Celtics. heard Boston Celtics. I don't know. 
I honestly don't know. I think that's one of those uh, tomato tomato things. Like we're yeah. both right. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the ones I like. But I've never heard of Queen, or whoever this is, Warrior Queen Boudica. Mm-hmm. Boudica shop. Where is it? Boudica, 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 Boudica. I don't know. Sounds awesome though. Mm-hmm. What she got against Celts? Oh, she's of the Celts. Yeah, F the Rawls. Or Celts. Or the Celts. Seltzers. <laughs> um, Tony Wellborn. He said, I got my front row tickets all ready for March 24th show in Birmingham at the Stardome. Can't wait. Roll Tide. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate that. Uh, we're going to make the rafters shake and your biscuits bake. John, is the, is the Stardome an actual dome place or is that just a name? It's a big uh, theater okay. that has different rooms in it that have other things going on. Hmm. It's not a dome shape. Okay. It's not as big as like a Superdome. Right. Um, but they just call it stardom. Like it's, you know, this is on, you're on your path to stardom, but they, they put the dome in there for fun. Oh, stardom. Yeah. Dome, but they're calling dome. it dome. Stardom. I got it. Yeah. It's a pun. It's a pun. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Kimmel would have killed it. He would have loved it. Sounds like <laughs> a lot of, got a lot of wrestling going on there. The stardom. Yeah. Uh, Michael, look at this. There's another Michael Hauser. Ooh, spells it different. It spells it different. He's probably cooler. He actually uh, participated with the War Eagle uh, meme that we did last week. He said that is actually all because, all right, so we showed some pictures last <clears throat> week. I told people to create a meme of me riding a War Eagle, you know, that's Auburn's mascot, over Alabama uh, football field because I'm going to Alabama. I like mm-hmm. to mix up War Eagle and Roll Tide for yeah. fun. Anyway, someone posted me on an eagle that didn't look like an eagle, and everybody in here goes, that's not an eagle. We're going to get minus points. We were wrong. It actually is an eagle. It's the one they actually use, according to Mike Hauser, because this is actually Auburn's war eagle called Aurora. I don't know how you pronounce that. Aurora. Aurora. Uh, The one that actually flies at their games. It's a different kind of eagle. We're used to seeing one kind of eagle, the, ma- the bald eagle. This is just a different kind of eagle. So we were wrong about that. We thought it was a hawk. Uh, Gabe Calvert, he goes, it kicked me, my hubby, off and had to wait. Did not want to miss your show tonight. Would have been pissed. I think he's talking about the Facebook uh, hack or, you know, the attack, cyber attack we talked about last week. Glad you made it, Gabe. Darren Hook, every time I watch this, I think of the part in Spaceballs where they start watching the VHS of Spaceballs and you being in the comments at this stream. Yeah, hmm. I'm telling you, it's weird. Whoa, it's man. deep, dude. That's a good scene. I do like Spaceballs. You ever seen Spaceballs? John uh, Candy? Probably not. Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. It's classic. Bill Pullman. It's a, yeah, Bill Pullman. Dude, good job. Cody Pickle. He said, as long as you finished parole you can apply to get your rights back to vote yeah so yeah. i said we had a felon who called in last week okay yeah it was, it was, it was him Co- it was cody. cody cody pickle yeah i said cody I, I don't think you're allowed to vote once you if you become a felon i thought no more rights but you can apply to get them back so that's what he did good that's I good i didn't know that deborah diane kimmer white jingleheimer schmidt she said, Facebook just needs to leave the real talent alone or we will ban Facebook. Debbie from Sugar Tit, South Carolina. I love it. Thank you, Deborah. Now, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about me as the real talent. Could be Isaiah. Could be uh, Sebastian. All righty. We're going to take a quick break. All righty. But do not shut your peepers because we're going to be right back with more Carolina Reaper. Hey there, John Reap here. Did you know that I have over half a million followers across all my social media? Yes, that's a little bit of a humble brag, but it's true. If you add them all up, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all of it, over half a million. And I'm here to tell you something. I'm open for business. (laughs) That's right. So if you have a product, you know, a business, an organization, something that you want to sell, Holler at me. Let's do this. All you got to do is go to my website, carolinareaper.com. Hit advertise, and uh, let's get your business all up in my business, right? Let's get to work. 
Hey everybody, John Reap here, and I am at the Hickory Station Restaurant and Bar right here in Hickory, North Carolina. They've got great food, great beer, and they got my barbecue sauce. Come on, I'll show you. John Reap's Hickory Smokehouse South In Your Mouth Barbecue Sauce. Yeah, baby. So good, it'll make your head shake. Now watch. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Let's go see how much people are loving my barbecue sauce. Ah, right. hey guys, how we doing over here? Hey, you enjoying the barbecue sauce? Oh, man, it's really good. <laughs> All right, chicken wings. You gotta try my barbecue sauce, man. This is the best thing I've had. My mouth broke. Hey, have you tried my sauce? You know I'm having dessert. Ah, it's great on cheesecake. Wow, that's amazing. Hey, have you had my sauce? We're just drinking, man. You can drink it. Not bad. <laughs> huh? John Reap's South in Your Mouth Barbecue Sauce. So good it'll make your head shake. I told you. Ah! South in your mouth barbecue sauce. So good it'll make it. It's very good, and you can thank me later. You can pick this up at the Hickory Station if you're in Hickory, or you can buy it online at southinyourmouth.com. It's very, very good. Um, you like my new coat? I like your new coat. You like my new shirt? I love that. Where'd you get that? I got this at Goodwill. It looks good on you. Yeah, where's the tag? Oh, there's the tag. Yeah, you still got the tag? Where'd you get yours? Goodwill. Yeah, what's the green and the white? What's that mean? Do you remember? I do not know. Um, I don't either. We'll find out. Yeah. Um, I wanted to look like the talking heads. Yeah. Heaven days gone by. This is, water. this is not my beautiful house, right? Same as it ever was. Is that what they wear? I don't know. Yeah, they, the, Steve, what's his name? David Byrne? Byrne, Byrne? David Byrne, lead singer of the Talking Heads, yeah. wears an oversized coat. Okay. But I don't think he did Corduroy. And I like... I, it's, you know, wicky, 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 yeah. wicky, wicky. Remember Corduroy pants? Yeah, dude. Oh, my gosh. Now, man. if I can find some pants to go this, uh, we'll yeah. be cooking with or Crisco. One, it's a little big, but... Yeah. Hey, everybody, guess what? Eating, oh, just went blank. Eating better is now easier thanks to Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. That's right. I want to talk to you about Factor meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart. Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. It's two-minute meals. It's two minutes. That's it. Fuel up fast with Factors Restaurant Quality Meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you are. Pancakes, smoothies, and more. You can discover a wide variety of these options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. No prep, okay? No mess. You're not having to cook anything. You're not having to, to like get a bunch of pots and plan, pans and heat up the oven and preheat this and get your aluminum foil and get your crisp. None of that. It's a microwave, and it's very good. I had it by the way, and I, uh, I'm hooked on this. I don't know what Factor Meals has done, but they have figured out how to make a microwave meal really good. A lot of you think, oh, microwave meal, Stouffer's, TV dinners, you know, you put in the microwave and this section's still frozen and this one's too hot. None of that. I don't know what, they've got it down to a science. It's two minutes, exactly. And it's like, you know, we did low-carb stuff. So we got delicious low-carb things with like all kinds of sauce on it. I mean, you don't have to do anything but two minutes, and it's very good. 
Here's what you need to do if you want to take advantage of it, and I highly recommend it. Head over to factormills.com slash REAP50 and use my promo code REAP50 to get 50% off. That's right. That's code REAP50, factormills.com slash REAP50 to get 50% off. All righty. Anyway, we were talking about our uh, clothes. Yes. We both got these at a Goodwill. And uh, what we do here, I was joshing y'all earlier. His name is not really Marcus Stamos. It's Mark Hunt. And uh, what we like to do is go hunting for gifts for each other that we got at a Goodwill. Mm -hmm. right? And we're going to be doing a lot of Goodwill stuff coming up that I think you guys are going to enjoy. In fact, I know you will. So um, basically, I go and I buy Mark a gift for five bucks or less. And I present it to him on the show, and he unboxes it. And it has to make sense why I got him this gift. There needs to be a reason, right? And he does the same for me. I don't know what he got me. He doesn't know what I got him. It's wrapped up. Yeah, it's in a box. It's not, well, it's in a box. Wrapped Justin up Clyde day. Williams wrote a song. Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's see, who wants to go first? No, let's yep. let Justin Clyde tell us about the segment, shall we? Oh. Yeah, you got a segment, a song. You got a five dollar bill, you don't need no more. Shopping for a pair of khakis, cause you gotta on, go Isaiah. to court. There's a bow like hunting trophy, here. makes you think about your buddy. That's the hunting mm -hmm. that you don't need a license for. Like your good will hunting. Good will hunting. Good will hunting. Good we're just the good will hunting. I ain't talking about the film starring Jason Horn. Just being like thoughtful while you're shopping at your second hand store. Wow. You're good will hunting. I say, uh, Happy hunting, boy. Gotta get his rhythm. We gotta work, work with him on his rhythm. Right? That was like 100% the jerk. He would not have been able to make it yesterday's back in the day. He would not have been a speaker dancer. I got you a gift and you got me a gift. Who wants to go first? Uh, you go ahead. All right. You're standing there with your elbow on it. You yeah. Go ahead and go for it. Yep. Well, I got you this gift because today, you know, we do this at the end of the show where we have national holidays. I okay. call them irrational national holidays. Because they There's make no some sense. weird yeah. holiday for every everything. day. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think one of them was plant a flower day was today. I don't know. We're going to get to those in a minute. Anyway, so this is one of those days. Oh. Today, today is, is national whatever this, this is. day. Okay? Yeah. And I want you to have it. Oh. Because it's also green. Okay. And St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Okay. And I also know you have a daughter. Oh, daughter. Who might Saint enjoy uh, this gift or may have been this at one time. Okay. That's how it's working. Hmm. Uh, and I present this. That's a lot to think about. To you. Okay. Check it out. I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna see. What could it be? That's what just some. That? That's just something that in there. It's nothing. That's not okay. the gift. Okay. Ha! It is a. It's a Girl Scout. Girl Scout doll. Yeah. You got this at Goodwill. Today is National Girl Scout Day. Huh? Hi. These She's girls. got her book. She's got her Girl Scout cookies. She's got her that's a cookie. That's a, that's oh, a box, that's of, box cookies. of cookies. It says cookies. And that's also been going on. What's that? The Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yeah. They're that's everywhere. Right. I've done made my way through like two so boxes to, of Girl Scout. I have to lie <laughs> and tell people that I've already you know, I've already bought plenty. <laughs> they, they, Is that what you that's say? That's what I say. Oh, oh, I've got plenty. I already got me. some. I got a lot. You can say I'm already committed to this, my one friend's daughter. I can't. No, uh, I've got. I bought more than I can eat now. Oh, I don't did? want to get it. That's what I would say. But, but you no. also don't do sweets. No, I won't eat cookies anyway. But, so, but she's a cutie, man. Like little shorts, yeah. little penny loafers. Uh, yeah. I wonder what their sign. Like our sign, Boy Scout, was that, right? Yeah, Cub Scout, Boy, Boy Scout. Scout. What was girls? I don't. Yes. <laughs> <Was> that? <laughs> that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. There's got to be a sign. Yeah. Moose, do you know? Because you were Boy it. Scout. Isaiah, if we only had an intern, you know the Google girl. Things. Just like us, yeah. it's threes, it's Well, trips. see, here's another thing, too. The Girl Scouts, I don't know why they exist anymore. I, actually, I do know why, but they're now allowing females in the Boy Scouts, mm -hmm. which 
it's like, well, why even have the Girl Scouts if you're going to do that? Yeah. Just call them they Scouts. Need the, the three. They need the three. Oh, yeah. like us. Okay. okay. She's got some merit badges right here. Yeah. I don't know what they are, but she's got a lot of them. Um, kind of an interesting looking face. So we would go camping, uh, Camp Bud Shield every year, and I was a Boy Scout up in the mountains. And uh, I think I told you this before, but there was always a rumor that there was a Girl Scout camp nearby. Yeah. Right. You know, so. That was sneak all the out buzz and all night. the talk around that we're going to go sneak into the Girl Scout camp and Panty French raise. kiss. Who's going to French kiss and <laughs> touch panties and stuff? Yeah. And uh, I don't think it was ever there. I wonder what kind of cookies are in here. This is a matchbox. <laughs> yeah. Don't play like matches. matches. Yeah. Um, what are your favorite? Well, you don't eat cookies. Isaiah, favorite Girl Scout cookie? Oh, go. Yeah, uh, Smoma. Yeah, I think a lot of people love those. Uh, now or later? I think I like those. Yeah. Yeah. They're all good, I bet. They're all good. They got a good product. Boy Scouts, we don't have a good product. We don't sell anything. Do pecan we? logs. Yeah. Pecan logs and seeds. Or, yeah. I remember I had to I had to try to sell seeds. What kind of seeds? I, I don't know. It was just some <laughs> stupid thing. Like, go sell these plant seeds yeah. door to door. <laughs> I remember seeing a Girl Scout walking away with cash. Yeah. And just, then, like, people are like, oh, thank you for the Girl Scout cookies. I'm like, she going to buy my damn seeds now? Yeah. And nobody wants seeds. Yeah. Or even pecan logs, which I like pecan logs. When was the last time we had a pecan log? Anyway, that's my gift to hey, you. Hey, didn't the Boy Scouts sell popcorn and popcorn tins? Yes. Did they? We did the popcorn tins, Okay. Too. Well, what um, do you have for me, Marcus? Oh, okay. So what I got for you today is uh, you're all over social media. Uh, you, sometimes you like to walk around and uh, oh. yeah, film yourself. Like you'll pull the camera up, you'll film yourself. My mom and I used to do walkie-talkie time. used to do walkie-talkie time. Uh, you'll be out on the road a lot of time, and you'll walk around and show your hotel room, but your hands are always full, right? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, if I have a selfie stick, I'm still, my hand is holding right. it. So I'm so, always doing this or doing this. Yeah. Yes. So I made it simple for you. I found this at Goodwill. It's something that you can use in place of that. You, so your hands will be free. Okay. You can do the filming, and your hands will be free to do other things. Oh, yeah. interesting. All right. I can't wait to see what's in here. Let's unfold it. Okay. Fold it. Yep. Yeah. Let me help you with that. Really like that. Oh, it goes around. That. <laughs> okay. So this is going to go around your neck. Like this. Yep, yeah, like that. Oh, this is great. If you have your... Uh, you know what else this is good for? What? I mean, if you want to watch something. <laughs> oh, while you're on the commode, maybe. Sure. You can or do it on the commode. Wherever. With your hands, dude. What do you do with your hands if you're watching a certain type of video? Uh, Can I borrow that? <laughs> Beat me no. Oh, they would come in handy for that. It's a little too close, though. Or you could just sit on the counter. What was the big yeah, difference? Yeah, but you want to see it, dude. You can get yeah, in there. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it'll bounce when you bounce, right? Well, I guess, yeah, you can get into yeah. it. It's interesting. <laughs> Depending on the scene, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I could... Uh, yeah, this it's, is all, it's I, old. I don't know if your your phone will fit in it. Hopefully it'll, it will. But, uh, yeah, it'll come oh, it's out. got a little slide thing in it. Um, I'm trying to think of what all I could use this for, for real. This would be good at night if you're just... Treadmill, maybe. No, it's going to move too much. Ah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what could you do? I mean, this in, in bed at night, I maybe? Think going, I think taking the crap. I think on the commode, I think that would be handy. You're, you're kind of still on the commode. Did it have a, a thing of like... How to use it, like where to use it, like a, did it come with instructions? No, that's exactly like how it came. guidebook. That's exactly how it came, just like that. All right, well. Unfortunately. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yep. I'll figure out something. Please this. do. Now you at home, this is where you come in. Let's make it a game. Yeah, who got the best? Who gave the better gift? Did I give Mark the best gift or did Mark give me the best gift? Leave it in the comments section. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, uh, we'll see you next Wee. week who won. Wee. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying some goodwill. Happy National Working Moms Day. That's today. Uh, <laughs> National Baked Scallops Day. Now you, or Nicole, made some baked scallops. I can make some scallops. Yeah, I can make scallops. They're easy. Sometimes, and correct me if I'm wrong, have you ever had a scallop that it feels like there's a grit? Yeah, or sand. sand. Yeah. Is that 
an all scallops? I think about all of them are like that. Some more. Okay, so others. that's it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're bottom. Okay. Feeders, so. Bottom feeders. Yeah. yeah. Like myself. Just like me. <laughs> uh, National Plant a Flower Day, Girl Scout Day. This day in history, Marcus, let's play some trivia. Isaiah, you're usually pretty good at this. Coble, you want to play? You can get in here. On March the 12th, 2003, how old were you in 2003? I was two. Coble, how old were you? I was not born yet. <laughs> wow. All right. Damn. Just before your time. Uh, a music-related controversy involving the invasion of Iraq by President George W. Bush began when a British newspaper published a review of what band? What band said some shit about George Bush and got him in trouble? Do you want me to say the name that they go by now? Either one. I'll, I'll accept both. The Dixie Chick. Correct. Oh. That's right. How did he know that? He wasn't but two. He knows his uh, country history. Wow. Look at him. He's got a cowboy. I might have sword. read the rundown. <laughs> oh, he probably oh. read the rundown, too. You cheated. I always read the rundown. Would you have known it? <laughs> I remember it now that you said it. Yeah. I do remember it. Now look at so it. So they were, they were in uh, London or England or somewhere over there across the pond, and they were asking them about the invasion of Iraq and... And uh, Natalie Maine said something like, oh, we don't, he's from Texas, but we don't claim him. We don't like mm -hmm. George Bush. And then it got back to America after they put that review up. And then they See got ya. the backlash. That's back in the good old days. And, I mean, their career was, yeah. and now they've changed their name to the Chicks, not even the Dixie Chicks anymore. They could say that now and they'd be just fine. If they would have waited until <laughs> 2023 and said that, they'd have been okay. I mean, they still have a career, but they lost a lot of fans. Yeah, they're at the fairgrounds now, I bet. And you know what George Bush said about that? <laughs> at the fairgrounds. You know what George Bush said? He said, He goes, listen, they are free daughter. to speak their mind. They can say whatever they want to say. And they shouldn't have their feelings hurt just because some people don't want to buy their records when they speak out. So he's like, that's, that's what you get. The yacht on the I don't think I could name like a Dixie Chick song. Wide open spaces. I don't think hey, I could. Hey, make a big mistake. She needed new, new spaces. spaces. She knows the high stakes. She knows the high stakes. stakes. <laughs> That's pretty good. We know that one. Yeah. Never Earl had to one. die. None. You never heard yeah, Earl had to die? Man, their first album <laughs> they killed a dude on was the amazing. Yeah, yeah. If good. a Dixie Chick song came on the radio, like right now, I couldn't tell you that it was the Dixie Chicks. Uh, coming up, I'm going to be in Birmingham, Alabama, March 22, 23, 24 at the Stardome. April 26 and 27, Richmond, Virginia at the Funny Bone. May 3, 4, and 5, Myrtle Beach. At the Comedy Shop at the Wonders Theater, more dates can be found at carolinareaper.com. Click on tour dates. Remember, we're not just a live video show on Facebook and YouTube. We're also a podcast for your ear holes. So subscribe to us. Show us some love there. If you want to help us out, join our support page. Go to carolinareaper.com, click support, throw some money in the tip jar. If you got no money, you want to help us out, give us five stars on Apple Podcast. Write a review, why don't you? All right. Any corrections, concerns, or comments from the boys in the room? Um, we got to show off my puppy for a second. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Alan Jackson, did Isaiah send you some pictures of his puppy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the screen. Yeah, let's go to the... Oh, look, would you... Now, where, when did you get this dog, or where did you get this dog? Last week, I... Got home from work, and he's just sitting in the living room floor just looking at me like, I haven't met you yet. Well, he just wandered in the house? Well, so Mom got him from a lady in Conover. I'm not sure what her name is. She told me, but I forgot. Yeah. So, yeah, he's waiting on me when I got What's his home name? from work. His name's Russell. Russell? Yeah, because I wanted to name him after the county I come from. So, Russell County. Russell. That's a good dog name. Russell. Because they do like to wrestle. Russell the wrestler, you know. And I just they call him Russ leads. all the time. Russ. Yeah, you got to call him Russ. Rusty. It'll, it'll evolve into go. Rusty at some point. Because he kind of looks like he could be a Rusty as well. How old is this dog? He is eight weeks old. And what so kind of dog is this? He is a golden doodle. Like Stamos has got. Oh. So we both have golden doodles do you really? now. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to have a puppy bowl. I think we should let him fight. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 
Let's get him in here. Mine's a, we'll have a puppy cam. Mine to beat your Add dog. it to the show. Easy. We'll get a puppy cam. And we'll just put him in a room. We'll have a camera in there. And when it gets boring, you guys decide when you're tired of hearing our conversation, just go to the puppy cam. See what they're doing in there. Yeah. That's a good idea for a future episode. All right. Uh, look, that's it for this week, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Most of all, sharing. Hit the share button. The show's not over. Don't wad us up into a piece of paper and throw us into the waste basket. Fold us into a paper airplane and pass it on to your other friends. All right? So hit the share button, and uh, that's it. I'm John Rape. We'll see you back here next week. Till then, bicycle.